Lost is one of the bigger instrumentals of this mixtape. It features simple trap drums accompanied by big orchestral melodies playing simple catchy progression, while NF and Hobson show off their lyrical abilities. So that's what we're going for. The first thing you want to do since we're going for more of an evil vibe here is to add a harmonic minor scale and a BPM of around 117. We're choosing the harmonic instead of the natural minor because of this space right here. This major third instead of the natural minor third helps make the seventh chord of the scale play better better with the unsettling vibe of trap beats. Don't ask me why, I just know it works. Now there are four main steps to get the sound we're looking for. The first one is what I call big string, simple catchy string melody, tension and trap drums. These are the new techniques we'll apply in this deconstruction. As always, they will also be explained on the ebook and the file in the description. Step 1. Big string. This step, although kinda dumb, is really important. By this I mean the big bassy string you can hear at the beginning of the bar on Lost. It, this actually does a lot for the big dramatic sound it has. That's why I made it its own step. To create this I will use my own one-shot string sample. But to make your own just take a low strong C note on a string plugin and add some reverb, chorus and a of saturation to it. Now reverse it using Edison and put those together. Perfect, but we're not done. I'm also going to add this Vox one shot for a richer high end. And lastly, a tubular bell. NF uses a bunch of these on his songs. It helps make the first note sound big and intimidating. So let's use it as well. And that's it, we have our big string. Step 2. Simple catchy string melody. I like to start off with a bell sample and then build up to the strings. So to start, I'll use this toy box one shot to make a simple repetitive catchy progression. The key to make evil simple trap melodies is to keep in mind these two things, at least in my experience. The first one is that repetition is king, and the second one is to use half step notes. Let me explain. First, repetition refers to building your melody mainly in this first bar and pretty much making it repeat with subtle changes in these other three. Of course this doesn't always apply but it's a pretty good rule of thumb. So we're really looking for a catchy melody here that works well when played in repetition. The second thing to keep in mind is these notes. This, the small half step separation between these groups of notes helps our melodies gain more of an evil feeling. The reason behind this is that notes that are close to each other being played after another sound kind of unsettling to our ears, making the melody sound evil. The third and last tip I want to give you is to play with silence. It helps build suspense. So either use a bunch of notes here and let the rest of the bar breathe or use a small number of notes throughout the entire bar. Using those three tips, I'll build this melody. You can see that I used this half step separation and left this part of the bar breathe since I used a bunch of notes here. I also of course let it repeat. Now to get that NF sounding string arrangement, let's stack sounds. The first one I'll be using is a pizzicato string preset on Xpand 2. I'll also add the short string preset on Labs which is a free VST. I'm also adding some EQ, chorus, compression and reverb to help these sounds blend together. This is what we have so far. Step 3. Tension. Now that we have that, we can move on to the tension building. In an NF record, building up tension is pretty much a must. And the way Tommy Prophet usually does it is by stacking a bunch of sounds. Like, almost insane how this man uses so many noises at once while keeping the whole thing coherent. The principle of layering is to add new sounds to a progression to serve a purpose. In this case, to make our song bigger. So what we're looking for is not simply a louder sound, but a richer frequency range. Like Tommy Prophet said himself. While it may seem random, these layers are actually specific and intentional. You can't hear every single individual sound when it's all in the mix, but together combined, it makes it feel massive because each one is filling a space. For this beat, we're only going to stack two more layers to our melody, but if you want to see me stacking a thousand layers, just wait for the clouds to construction. The first one will be another string orchestral preset, again from Labs, this time playing one octave higher to occupy more higher frequencies. It's important to play with octaves when you're stacking similar sounds because you want them to keep this coherent. To do this, you don't want your sounds fighting for the same frequency range while this space is all empty. They would clash and usually that doesn't sound very good. You want to have a healthy distribution and to fill as much of this as reasonable. That's why this will be one octave higher.
The next layer will be a female A preset from x -Men 2. This is a choir preset and this is one of Tommy Prophet's favorite ways to add tension. You can hear choir singing in every hard-hitting NF song, at least on every hard song from this mixtape. And for this one, I have a trick that I learned from listening to a bunch of Tommy Prophet's productions. He likes to use a choir in two main ways. The first one is to add them just for like one beat, so that it works more like an accent on the strings rather than its own instrument. And the second is to add a whole bunch of notes going all the way to the end of the bar. That way the choir becomes pretty much the most prominent instrument and drives the intensity of the track through the roof. For this pattern we will use the first one, only playing notes over a melody like this to act as an accent on the strings. On this track I don't really want the choir to be that intense so for the next pattern I'll just add a little more intensity by simply extending these last few notes. And that's our tension right there. Step 4. Trap drums. NF usually has big hard hitting drums when it comes to huge instrumentals such as clouds, but Lost is an exception. Here the drums are much more generic and simple, and that ends up playing really well with the instrument, so let's add something similar. First we need some generic snares, for this I will use these two samples, this one the main one and this one the second one. Now since the instruments are pretty repetitive, we need a little variation on the drums for contrast, so I will add two different hi-hat patterns. This one's for the verse, where there's no kick or 808. And let's add some more hits to that for the drop. The drop, I'll also add a hard kick and a long 808. And with the four steps finished and a little bit of arranging, here we have the final beat.